Every week, for years now, I've been making detailed GPS recordings of my travels, including everything from campsites where I've spent the night, to restaurants and coffee shops, to primitive four-wheel drive tracks, and everything in between. And I've been making this data available to Patreon subscribers, downloadable from Dropbox in the GPX file format. Today I'm going to focus on GPX files and show you a few ways that you can view them either on your computer or on your phone or mobile device. I use Apple hardware, but the functionality on Android and Windows is very similar. First, a GPX file is simply a text file that contains navigational data in the form of human readable code. Its main purpose is to serve as a portable interchangeable standard for passing data from one GPS app or device to another. Whether you're using Google Maps, a Garmin device, Gaia GPS, or OnX, they can all read GPX files and present the data elegantly on a map. Now this video refers to the files that I have on Dropbox for my Patreon subscribers, but you don't have to be a Patreon subscriber to find it useful. If you're unfamiliar with GPX files and you want to know how to view them, then that's going to be covered here. In my opinion, using a computer is the most versatile way to manage GPX files, and then you sync the data to your mobile devices as needed. So first, let's go into Dropbox and go to my Patreon folder. We'll go to Tier 3, All Waypoints and Tracks, and we'll find the data from the previous episode of Venture Forward, which was V18E3. That was in Quebec, Ontario, and Michigan. Click on that, and I have the data broken up into multiple GPX files. We have 4x4, which is unmaintained roads, campsites, dirt roads, hiking tracks, miscellaneous points of interest, streets, and this is the master file. We don't use Dropbox to view the GPX file, so right from here let's click on the three dots, more, and then download. Now the GPX file is on my computer in the downloads folder. Let's take a look at a couple things we can do with it. I'll open up a new browser window. If you just want a free tool with which to visualize the GPS data on your computer, you can use mymaps.google.com. And you click on the plus sign, it creates a new custom map. And see, we have Untitled Map, Untitled Layer. Underneath Untitled Layer, let's click on Import. This dialog will come up to choose a file to import, so let's click on the Select a File from Your Device button. Going into the Downloads folder, and right at the top, V18E3. Upload. And there you have it. This is all the data for episode V18E3. I can name the map V18E3. Save. And now you can click on these items to see more information. Driving track, duration 3 hours 9 minutes, average speed 49 miles per hour. Or you can interact with this list of items on the left. Here I've got a campsite with the campsite description. Once you've imported the GPX data into Google My Maps and you've created a custom map, you're then able to access that saved map on the Google Maps app on your phone. All you have to do is tap the Saved tab, go into Maps, and there, right at the top, V18E3. And there it is. It's pretty nice. I use Gaia GPS on my iPad Mini as my primary field GPS. So to get the data from the GPX file to my tablet, 
I first import the GPX file into Gaia GPS on the web. In my browser, I go to GaiaGPS.com and I log in if I'm not logged in already, in this case I am. In the map view in this far left column, there is an import data button. So we click on that and select files and I select V18E3 GPX just like I did for Google and upload. And now it'll import the file and save 62 items. Saving imported items. And that puts all the data in a folder on Gaia GPS that's the same name as your file where an underscore replaces the period. To double check that it imported correctly and that it stored where you think it did, click on the down arrow next to your profile picture and select folders. Here we are, V18E3 GPX. This is the one that I just imported today on September 22nd. Here you can see folder information and the data itself right on the map. There we go. Now the GPX data is on Gaia GPS. Next time you use your phone or your tablet with Gaia GPS and it's connected to the internet, it will sync and pull down all of this data from the web and put it on your device so you could see it on your phone or tablet. I'm going to do one thing here and rename this folder V18E3 import demo so we can see this change will appear on my tablet when we try Gaia GPS on my tablet. All right now let's take a look at Gaia GPS on my tablet which is a cellular connected iPad mini 6. Tap manually to sync now. The syncing process is automatic when you have the sync slash backup toggle flipped, but you can tap to manually sync if you want to expedite the process. Saved. And here you can see V18E3 import demo has already been imported. More. Show on main map. So this is the data that I imported on the web interface and all I had to do was make sure my iPad was connected to the internet, start up Gaia, and wait for it to sync. Alright, so using a computer to import GPX data is not necessary if all you have is a mobile device like a phone or a tablet. Dropbox does have an app for iOS and Android. So as long as you're connected to the internet, you install the app, log in, open it up and then you have access to Venture Forward's GPX files on your device. And just like we did on the computer, we'll navigate to the GPX file we want to download. Let's see, this time we'll pick um, V18E2, which was two weeks ago up in Quebec. And again, I will download the master file. And this will display the contents of the GPX file, which isn't very useful to us, but that's what the inside of the file looks like for the programs that read it. And we'll tap the three dots, tap share, export file, and now a dialog will open up that will allow you to choose where you want to send the file. And one of the options is Gaia GPS itself. So we'll tap that. We will go into saved. And here we go, right at the top, V18E2 GPX. And you can see the tracks are increasing, waypoints are going up. So this is actively downloading as we speak. Let's do one more Dropbox to Gaia GPS import demonstration on my phone, which is an iPhone 12 mini. We'll load up Dropbox. I made a folder and a file called phone import demo. Phone import demo GPX. Tap on the three dots. Share. 
export file, Gaia GPS, exporting. Gaia GPS loads up, and there it is, phone import demo GPX. I hope you all found this video helpful. It was a frequently requested topic. Gaia GPS is my preferred navigation software, and I'll talk about why in a future video. But I am a Gaia GPS affiliate, and if you're interested in the software and you would like to support Venture Forward, I'll put a link to Gaia GPS in the description for this video. Also, if you enjoy watching Venture Forward, I'd love to see you on Patreon, where I provide behind-the-scenes updates, and I grant subscribers access to my hard drive crippling mountain of GPX files. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you next week.